Initially, I wasn't actually planning on doing a round run next, but you know, I changed my mind it seems, and there's a lot of crit synergy stuff that was buffed, but I am definitely leaning more into the debuff stuff, that's definitely what I would prefer to hit. Three hundred health on this rainbow slime is just <laughs> going to be very tough to chew through. That's for sure. But it looks like we're not getting too uh, too far off. Nice stuff. Very happy to get a kill on him. Although I don't know how much we can actually capitalize on the cash gains. Seems like enough, though. Okay, was not expecting that. 54 cash and still a ton of cash left on the map. Sure. Okay, so thinking more on the uh, constricting change change, where when you misnavigate with it, you'll go instantly through. I think it's definitely a good thing. I think it was a bit annoying how much health you could lose to constricting chains. That being said though, like deciding your path on constricting chains is just really nice, so the fact that it is much much tougher to go the way you want with constricting chains is definitely much more of a downside. It's much tougher to pick up area 1 as your boss passive now. Um, that being said, I think constricting chains is probably... sorry, what's it called? It is constricting, but it's not a chain. Uh, I, I don't care, honestly. Uh, still conviction, yep. Mm-hmm. So such good synergy with Molly Flower, right? Like you hit one crit and then suddenly boom. Uh, that is definitely interesting. It's only 20 cash as well. And I already have an additional crit on the board. Yeah, I'll pick it up. And then I'll pick up this as well. It's quite solid. Um, I do want to test it out and it looks like we are doing crit stuff more so than... Yeah, it's fine. I'm happy to take another Elite rather than a shop plus chest, but I mean, we, I guess we'll have to check how much cash we actually end up with. Great shot. Didn't hit the bomb, which would have been nice as well, but I guess you can't have too much. So is the crit on the table or not? Yeah, definitely more damage than I would like, but I have the hag on tap, which I believe is going to be pretty solid healing. It's really not the best, but it's probably not too bad. Boom. I should get a dodge sometime. Please, damn it. I had a feeling it was going to do that. Oh well. Oh no, if I hit a crit, I'm pretty sure it would have killed. Because I had a lot of exploitable one. Oh damn. Should be fine though, because I should get the kill on the front one this turn. Yep, perfect. Decent enough, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's a lot more health lost there than we would like, but our Hacklon set has moved quite a long way to the next proc. We didn't get a dodge down. So, you know, it should be recovered, but definitely unfortunate. Kablamo. Don't mind if I do, eh? So, that already is just amazing synergy with Spin Point. And I kind of really want to. 80 health. Oh, what? Oh, it doesn't trigger the crits multiple times just yet. <laughs> I see. Yeah, okay. Um, maybe I should probably prioritize upgrading that a bit. The upgrades on it are quite big. And unfortunately the lower levels are nowhere near as interesting as the upper levels. Which is, I guess, where it should be. The blamo, and I got the crit. Nice. So close yet so far. 
I really just want to start using out the high levels of it. Because the part where it triggers crits multiple times is really cool. Honestly, I might even pick up an Orbsium, just please do it. Oh my god! <laughs> this is the run? Uh, because of that I'll focus elites and just slam two upgrades into them. Triggering crits three times on crit crits is actually a pretty big deal with the level of uh, crit damage it's going to have. But for that I need fights. Mm -hmm. You just had to be the last two orbs. I see how it is. Cool stuff. 15 max HP. Like, that's a pretty big jump. It's definitely needed. <laughs> definitely needed. I probably won't be hitting a crit here, so I'm not going to discard. Whereas this shot, I will probably be hitting a crit. Mostly because I was literally aiming straight at it. I really want to see the AoE damage that it has, so please give me a crit. Thank you. Alright, so. Boom. Right, five times multiplier. It's decent, I guess. Nothing crazy. Cool, cool. Where do we sit for Haglands? Not too much at all. Dodge. Yeah, makes sense. Tempting. Let's see what the elites have in store for us. Okay, I think Critic Chris should make this fight feel much nicer. But we'll have to see. Uh huh. Yeah, that's a bit hard to hit. Let's try that. Nice. That is definitely nice damage, so let's just try and continue on and hit these bombs to finish everything up. Perfect. Man, I can't ask for anything more than that, can I? That's so good. Uh, let's try and hit this refresh as soon as possible. Should also get a crit if I go in there. Wow, okay. Well, that's just GG, isn't it? The fact that I'm small means I can aim through there. The chance that you, it just hits stuff, not that low. Man, the new Hagglands change is so nice. Nice, I like it. That's a really good orb. But I think I'm doing crit stuff, so I won't do it. Holy. Counterfeit crits, hello? That is great. Counterfeit crits is such a nice passive. Seven max HP or plus 25 health. Kind of silly, but I'm going to take the 7 max HP. I'd rather heal in this fight. And take the max HP. Plus also, you know, I said a crit. It does increase my 15% max HP each time for, uh, what's it called? I should have really good AoE in particular on the next shot, so let's try and find that. Damn. The debuffs I'm getting are not impressive. Luckily this shot is. Man, the the generation I get from counterfeit crits is just so nice. Defeat Criticris. Actually beautiful. Minimal loss. And we're just taxing their health constantly. Spawning some more uh, crits because why not? This is just lovely. Like the health is just going down. And there's nothing they can do about it. Oh my. That was a very lovely finish, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't think I need to heal. There's a chance that I do, but I'm not going to. Oh. So. That's actually really good. Like, really quite good. I have Hagglands, so let's, let's do some greed there. Uh, yeah, I think that new uh, passive is going to be really quite good for us. I may not hit a crit this run. In fact, I likely won't, unfortunately. But extra procs of Rancho Eloquence is not too bad. 
the fact that it can just hit Bramble is actually very cool. Like you're just triggering crits and then suddenly Brambles. I, I still haven't gotten a single crit, which is unfortunate because they have a multiplicative effect. What? It's small. Ah, that shot usually would have worked. This shot does though. Just a little bit of extra 30 damage, I'll take it. Uh, I don't think, believe I can hit a crit. God, so many extra crits spawn when I do that, it's so lovely. As I thought, I definitely didn't need a heal, did I? I mean, it is definitely on the closer side, that's for sure. But, especially from that spinfection, you can just tell that he's gone. I even get my heal there, not that I need it at all. So triggering crits is really good. Um, due to the fact that there was indeed that constricting chance change, I'm going to be taking Machuska Shell. And it's especially fine because I plan on critting multiple times. Like, I think that's just a really good pickup for us, for us. Can you? No, you can't. Close, but not quite. Oh man. <laughs> he dropped a 25 health instantly. Oh, it's beautiful. And just imagine we find a Molly Flower. That is actually a lot of debuffing. Like, it's actually kind of crazy how much debuffing it is. Oh, I didn't actually get any pigs, that's why. <laughs> Classic. Holy. Like, that one shot just killed him straight up. It's crazy, man. Um, I do definitely want to go to more elites to try and get some rare impressives. But. A free remove and a free upgrade is so good for us. I really wanted to get our deck size a bit thinner and it's why I was going to prioritize the shop, likely. I may not, but I'm pretty sure I will. Nice, opening up that refresh. Let's get in there, get some of those lovely, lovely crits. Hello. The level of damage that got was crazy, but it looks like I'm having a bit of an issue here. So, what do you want to do? I'll press the backspace button, I'll press the space button. Plus forward, what do you want? Alright, let's, let's try that again. Seems like I hit a few too many crits for its taste, huh? I wonder why exactly that happened, I don't know. Either way, getting that Bramble there. Bramble on these guys is always amazing, so not complaining there. Uh, nah. All I need now is your crit also refresh. That would just be absolutely beautiful. It would also be beautiful to get a crit here, but yeah, good. Nice, amazing Bramble there as well. Let's follow through with that shot, and it just finishes everything up. There's another spin point. I'm just buying it straight up. It seems really interesting. Like, we have the synergy stuff we need for it. <laughs> Straight up. You know what? Let's just go to the elite. I should just be able to melt through most of them, shouldn't I? Resistance time is bang. Good. I really didn't want a resistance time. Yeah, I thought that was a good bounce. Indeed it was. Let's land my debuffs on you instead. Refresh if you'll be so kind. Damn. Alright, and let's finish you guys all off. Yep. Now tell me that wasn't beautiful. Like, that was just absolutely lovely. I love the spam proccing synergy between uh, Criticris and this orb is amazing. Definitely on the more unfortunate side, though. This refresh is not ideal, so I am literally just going to aim straight for it. Oh my god, so you can get round relicons on multiple enemies with the still single target damage orbs. That is super cool. I feel like it's a bad idea to be aiming there still. Don't change targets. Oh my god, that worked out so well. 
Incredible. So I'm going to be kind of making crits. I'm not interested in making crits, to be honest. I'm just not very interested in that, though. And I guess interested in that. Pumpkin pie is so nice, though, but yeah, I'll just take Ring of Reuse. Where are we at for Haglands? We're not even down that much health. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't do stuff like that. Cookie, lovely. Now we need is your crits refresh, and then we're just flying. Oops, targeting the wrong enemy, but it shouldn't matter too much. It mattered. Uh, can you please hit some crits? Thank you. Boom. Get that crit? Damn. I had transparency. Hmm. What? Damn. Nice bounce, but unfortunately that was all it had going for it. Not good yet. Except he's not going to be going for a walk anytime soon. Wow. <laughs> this is just bullying. The constant debuffing is just absolutely brutal for them. Uh, the upgrade on it is pretty good, but I think I'll pass. Nice. 36. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, I thought the chance was pretty good. Apparently it wasn't good enough. Still, hitting one crit is just a catalyst. Holy. It really is. Look at all of those lovely debuffs. Man, hitting the crit so many times is so good. Okay, just imagine my crit refresh though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you'd be so kind as to give it to us, that would be amazing. That's a lot of DLC he's got going on. Yeah, it's all thanks to the new passive. Like, I'm really impressed with the new passive. I think it's really quite cool. And yeah, we do definitely have the big, biggest synergy point for it. But like, wow, is it still putting in just amazing work. That is not bad. Recombobulator, smoke mod. I think we just take Recombobulator. Recombobulator is what makes smoke more interesting, however I feel like applying debuffs in that kind of style is going to be a very good idea to have later on. So I would like to hit it later on, but I think I need a Recombobulator first. Two Bramble, you just don't get to move. I mean I could freeze you if I get another Bramble, so... Ah, uh, damn. Wow. Very happy with what's going on, to be honest. Well, the fact that it's small actually makes it very interesting for this map because getting in here was always really tough. But like, look at that! I just popped all those bombs with zero issues. Uh, please don't skyrocket yourself to the side of the board. Thank you. But with constricting chains, that would have become a 50 50. It's a big part of the reason why I didn't want to pick it up. Actually, being able to stack Spinesse is very nice. I wasn't expecting to do that, to be honest. Nice. That will bring a pain, sure. It's good if we fight Resistance Knight here. It's the only thing it really matters against. I feel like I aimed that pretty well. Yeah, good. I just really wanted to move that refresh, to be honest. Uh, and then let's try and get some temporary crits on the board, or maybe not. I succeeded in popping the only temporary crit I had. <laughs> yeah, classic. Man, they are losing a lot of health to bring a pain. Exactly the way I like it. Hit the refresh, please. Perfect. That absolutely sets up for this next shot to be absolutely devastating. So let's try and follow through, eh? I believe that counts as following through. It literally killed all of the enemies apart from this guy. And he is sat there wondering what to do with his life. What? Because he has five brown wolves. <laughs> Like, Fine Bramble is not something that is normal to get. And that is really just an orga. Like, we have an orb which says, orga makes me an AOE. <laughs> I think I'll pick up that orga, thank you very much. Oh, complex, not bad. Fonties, sure. I don't believe Susceptible is too interesting, but uh, it certainly is worth its thought. It's nice because we definitely were lacking illusion before. 
Now we have a decent source of it. Oh, nice. I absolutely love that both passives can still just apply debuffs that it can't apply. Really incredible. Uh, well, at least we should be getting a lot of exploitable from it, hopefully. And exploitable is definitely going to be the debuff that matters the most. Fifteen exploitable is pretty brutal. You really don't want to have a fifteen times multiplier sitting on you. <laughs> I should hit a crit, but wow! Oh my god, very close. You can see why it was just absolutely correct to pick up the Recombobulator instead of the uh, Smoke one. Definitely the right call. 16 transparency. If only there was an enemy behind you. 20 transparency to 30 exploitable. <laughs> oh, classic stuff. So, Nimble. Seems decent. I am. Um, I should upgrade it, but I'm not going to. I still haven't seen the new passive. Minus one orb discards when I have a uh, ring of reuse sounds far too scary for me to take. I want to discard from a greed when I have 288 cash. Sounds unfortunate. Sap a sack when I have minimal healing also sounds unfortunate. Uh, it is new, so I'll just take Silk Conviction. And let's high prioritize shops. Like, that's a high prioritize. <laughs> Thank you very much. In particular, it should just be a lot of damage uh, with my Grogris, which is the main reason I picked it up. But it's definitely... I tried to discard. Ah, so many battles in my deck. The good news is that the battles are actually fine because of all of the <laughs> uh, things I have to make them amazing. We can just go two shops, and we should be able to find a third... Uh, removal somehow. Oh, so black holes send me somewhere randomly. Interesting, so we can't just infinitely grid cash off of that. <laughs> Damn. Uh, yeah, so I didn't exactly understand what I read, but it seems like that was what I read. Okay. That's uh, an interesting change. Let's claim my free peers. Wait, you didn't get bramble? That's shocking, honestly. Absolutely shocking. Anyway, bye bye. Honestly, I like that. Just making navigation take a little uh, shorter time. That was good, so let's go backspace and. Hold up, targeting changed. <laughs> That's not helpful. I was trying to guarantee it. But I got it. Let's slam that button because it is so, so, so handy. Repression course actually gives us a way to gain uh, spinesse. <laughs> so we actually get to pretend like there's a second line of the orb, which is nice. The first line is more than good enough for the uses that we have for it. Oh, perfect. Uh, yeah. But it's nice to consider that it actually has a second line too. I'll definitely just go this way. Maybe I should have tried bombs. What am I considering? That's a lot of elites, you know. Technically my deck's pretty good, actually. So I'm just going to go this way. Ghost. Nope, wrong way. Unfortunate. Oh, unfortunately for him though, me hitting crits is a really good thing for me to do, so I'm just going to prioritize it. Man, fear my bramble. I'm sure it's just too strong for... <laughs> uh, classic. We just folded. Perfect stuff. Oh my lord. So Mask of Sorrow. Seems insane, right? Like, yeah, we could do Spinception, but Mask of Sorrow. That is really scary. Like, I feel like we're still missing one crit multiplier, and then we'll really be there, but Mask of Sorrow is so good here. Okay. You see what I mean? Like, those debuffs. Actually crazy. I know it didn't matter because they all died, but still. Uh, how many events do I have? Oh, wow. That answers that question very quickly. And I don't believe we can get uh, ambidextrin anymore as well. 
Honestly, I've been really impressed with this stuff. Uh, we are going to use lose yet again more health to the ghost. Oh, oh maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Uh, yeah, I'll just heal. No point in me not healing. Uh, tax supply to transparency. Doesn't sound the most helpful, but you know, tax applying free transparency when they have full PS doesn't sound too bad as well, I guess. Just doesn't matter, does it? Maybe it does though. Uh, one thing I would say is I have been uh, very impressed with the new Steel Conviction. I feel like it wouldn't be that good here, but I feel like the damage it's been providing has just been nice. I I'm a fan. I feel like it's worked out this run. Uh, for sure, you know, there are definitely runs where it's not going to work out as much. Oh my god, you... This could be very... One of the things I have noticed is, I mean, in basically every patch ever they've always tried to buff uh, debuff stuff. But like, the fact that Squares inherit debuffs in this run is going to be pretty messed, I feel. Oh, and also we have more enemies in this fight. I wonder how well that'll go for them, because you know, they're probably all dead here. Bam, lovely stuff. It looks like there's another Nimble, which I could totally add to my deck. So I will. Nimble's actually just very nice, because it's all my... No, where did I just hit that? It gives me a really good multiplier for the Critacris, but the fact that I have Fleece as well now is <laughs> pretty nuts. Surely we just infinitely Bramble him. Wow, we missed all the Bramble opportunities. Like we have full transparency, but yeah, okay. Now we get full Bramble on him, of course. I'm pretty sure he's also going to get a ton of Blind as well. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's just too many damage procs for you, so you will just collapse. We're still at full health, nice. Probably just had enough illusion that it just didn't matter. Cool stuff, but yeah, I'm really hoping that the debuff inheriting on squares really comes into play here. Because that would be pretty cool. But getting Chris on this first shot is going to be a bit hard. I'm shooting over here. Get those bombs, please. Thank you. That is a lot of damage. I have Ring of Pain, if you'd hit me there you would have died. <laughs> I love it. Um, I mean this one went shockingly well for trying out all the new crit stuff. I sure did manage to find a lot of it. <laughs> did I find like most- oh my god I found most of the new stuff, actually crazy. Like considering this is still pretty new, this is incredibly new. And the fact that we found the synergy points with like Mask of Sorrow with it, like it sure it is a shame that we didn't find one Belusion per debuff apply because that would have gone absolutely insane. And you know, we only had two crits on the board to multiply off of our counterfeit crits. But like we hit Orga, we hit Criticus, we hit Fleece, and we hit how many spin points and nimbles? Like I feel like spin points and nimbles are kind of the backbone of what you want to be building. But obviously there's more stuff you want because they're small, and small can be quite an issue. Some, some apps it is nice. Uh, horrible Early definitely does have some points where you're like, wow, I'm really happy I have this Horrible because I get here all of these lovely bombs. Um, yeah, Ring of Reuse, maybe not the best pickup to be honest. I think that I would have been quite happy if I hadn't picked it up, mostly due to the fact that I picked up Seal Conviction. I am I'm quite a big fan of Seal Conviction. I think it's very cool. Oh, it's at the start of battle though, so I'm not sure if it works with... Uh, uh, what's it called? <laughs> what's the class called? Balladroid. Balladin. Um, yeah, we had a ton of grit stuff that run. I'm, I mean, we got to do better debuff stuff than a normal debuff comp, didn't we, <laughs> anyway? <laughs> like, the fact that this all triggers crits three times is actually so cool. Somehow, I, despite having Eye of Turtle both runs, well, the other one was Peck on Tuition, not Eye of Turtle. S slight difference, I know. Still haven't seen the new boss passive, and I would really love to say, check it out, because I think it's going to be really, really good. Like, just my intuition, but I feel like it's going to be absolutely amazing. Uh, like, triggering more peg is so, so good. Orbzim is a really nice orb. I think it's a very underrated orb. It's really good at getting so much damage, especially when you have up when you have upgraded pegs.